welcome to episode one of City Slickers. Uh, this is the very first episode and we are so happy to have City Walk City Wall joining us today. How you going, man? What's up? How's it going? Yeah, good, man. And Skip, my friend, how are you? Hello, 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 hello. I'm very well, thank you. Welcome, uh, City Walk. Uh, Thanks for welcome. having me, man. This is so fun. Yes, oh, definitely. Man. So good. I feel like we've been doing so much together lately <laughs> like we went from like i think like the first time i chatted to you was on discord maybe like two months ago or something like that and then you did an episode on uh little france and we've been chatting uh, two heaps. episodes yeah two episodes far out ah yeah. one is coming yes 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 probably another one coming. Went, went out yes it was by the yes. time yes. this will be shown on uh, two dollars channel <laughs> my episode will be old enough the second episode of city walk <laughs> old 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 news yeah, yeah. man Definitely. um hey man thank you so much for joining us um on our very first episode we recorded a podcast not a podcast a um a pilot and we thought that went pretty well except we're recording the wrong screens and skip ended up recording all green screen <laughs> and we've recorded another episode and like we forgot to like record the screen again and the audio stuffed up so let's just see how this one goes right <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we all got it working this time. <laughs> uh, well, will. thanks for um, thanks for doing this, guys, because this is like this kind of podcast is exactly the kind of thing that I want to be seeing with City Skylines content. This is so perfect for me personally as like a viewer of City Skylines videos on YouTube. So this is exciting. You guys are doing this. Yeah, well, I'm going to see how this turns out. It might be total garbage. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, don't sell yourself short, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, like, if, I mean, you guys, everyone, audience, you guys should know who City Walk City Wall is. He has this incredible series going on at the moment. It was got two incredible series, but I mean, Mars is really just completely. Uh, uh, it's taken a lot of people by surprise. It took me by took me be, took me be, took me by surprise. <laughs> I can't even say the words. And <laughs> I don't know, like, man, it's it's at a completely different level in terms of city skylines and gaming and editing like how long have you been working on that Thanks, series man. for um i started working on it uh probably around like december january just like in terms of making the map and the theme and um some of like the first assets for it and then there was like maybe two or three months of like just starting to build stuff so that I could have a feeling of how I wanted to edit together and uh, since I, you know, trying to collect a bunch of footage and then now that the episodes have come out, I'm uh, at a pretty good pace keeping up with it. But it's been going on for a while, you know, a lot longer than the episodes on YouTube have been out. Yeah, I don't nice. think people ever realize like how long <laughs> it takes to put that much effort into it something so yeah deep. like like doing like an opening title sequence and like figuring out the style like all that just takes a really long time you know getting the mm. music together dealing with music rights things like that by the way how, how long uh, does it take to do one episode for instance probably okay not that all take the same amount of time of course but as an oh episode. man it takes a really long time it takes me like like two or three weeks probably to do an episode holy sh yeah, well, it's because I don't really show, I show probably like 5% of the footage that I record, you know, like if I'm doing something and it, I put down like 200 decals, I show me putting down one decal, you know, so yeah, um, I try to keep it interesting that way, but at the same time it makes it so that it takes so long to do, which that, is kind of a curse. This means that the editing takes like probably half a week <laughs> or more. Yeah. Oh my yeah, God. I mean, no, no, maybe not that long, but no, yeah, maybe half a week actually, two or no, three, three yeah, four days, yeah. Yeah, 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 something like that. It takes a while, but the thing about it is, do editing it, it is kind of fun, you know. Like, oh my God, <laughs> this is the first person. <laughs> oh my God, saying yeah. this. Well, <laughs> editing time lapse when I, because that's how I was editing the Kobayashi Island series, it was so boring. Like I could not stand doing that, but do, doing this one's a lot more fun. Cause like you're sort of more like searching for clips and trying to match things up with the audio. And it's like kind of a big puzzle that you're trying to put together. So it's a little bit, um, it's kind of fun. I mean, it, it is, it does take a while, but it's definitely more fun than doing it than just editing a time lapse together and then preparing to, to do a commentary over it. And nice. what's your what's your folder situation like? Are you organized and you know got everything in the right place? And you know when you think about it, you know you know oh, I've got to get that scene for that Photoshop 
part of the video so I'll just like record it while I'm doing it or like how the hell are you putting it together because my folders there's I don't think it even exists like half the things are saved on my desktop so I'm, oh, I'm curious man. what are you that doing that sounds like a not how you should be doing it you want to see the folders I'll show you the folders oh, is this the beautiful. time we do the screen share yes please and I'm also going to close my blind because I can see the colors like shifting hey someone that really actually has a clean uh, desktop like I do uh -huh. like I have you got a, you got one of these desktops as well. Yeah. My biggest um, fear is when I'm streaming is that my game is gonna crash and everyone's gonna see the mess of on my desktop. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so maybe let's do a larger view. This is confusing, but um, okay. So basically, <laughs> I have a um, folder here for captures, which is like my screen recordings. And uh, I try and keep everything that I record. And I also, when I'm recording like a clip, I try and keep the, the first f like frame of the clip, like when I hit record, like on something that's gonna be um, useful for me to like find it later on, you know? So for example, yeah, like smart. here's like a clip from Little France. Like I know this is clearly the first clip of Little France that I recorded because it's like just showing, or maybe this one is, but it, it, one of these two is just like showing you know, little France with nothing that I've built yet. And um, like this one is obviously a bunch of roundabout work. And I try and like keep my, I like record every single second of what I'm doing, but I try and hit start and stop pretty often so that I have like a bunch of clips and it's easy. It's not like I'm looking through like a eight hour clip, you know? Mm. Most important things, Ronix's website. Oh. Number one most important thing. Nice. <laughs> just, yeah, just yeah. I didn't to even that. realize they had a website. That's. Yeah, it's so useful. It tells you how to make everything. Um, That's amazing. That, that, that is insane. Like the whole asset creation and mod creation side of City Skylines is on a completely different level that I don't think a lot of YouTubers or just casual gamers even have any idea of how it works. Well, to be honest, it's all Ronix, man. He like, mm -hmm. the fact that this website exists is the reason that so many assets exist because there's no, there's nothing, there's nothing on like the city skylines official website that like tells you how to make assets. It's like Ronix tells you how to make assets. God, I hope they change that. I don't that's, think that's they're ridiculous. going to. Yeah, I, I don't think they're going to change it. I either. just hope I they mean, pay Ronix or something. Yes. Um, yes. Actually, I don't. A lot of people, I think, you know, because I guess like a lot of asset creators and modders, you know, they they do have Patreon accounts. They have PayPal's. And I know that they also just get so annoyed because people do just like hassle them. You know, they get so yeah. much, you know, it basically when you downvote an asset on the workshop, it really like messes everything up for them. You know, like it, it means that their, their asset doesn't get shown. It means that uh, less people are able to access it. Like people don't realize like how much work and effort goes into actually creating these things. And it's like free work. Like the reason that the game is able to be as good as it is, is because Colossal Order or Paradox doesn't have to pay um, employees to make all this stuff. It's like free people all around the world doing yep. it. So like, exactly. this game would never be like this if it wasn't for these people in the workshop who just want to put it together for free. Yes. Yeah. This, is so. the, this is one big, huge free uh, DLC. It is, yeah. and it is a hundred percent just like a DLC. Like yeah. we've had so many extra DLCs. Like when, um, I mean, when Bad Peanut released the, you know, the custom prison that you basically like, you know, drag out networks, and it was a complete prison overhaul. What they needed to do like years ago. Yeah. And that's a that's a DLC. Like I'd pay for that. You know, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah, and it really it works like so well. He like puts so much time and effort into that. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, and I noticed that you've because you do have a whole bunch of stuff on the workshop. Do you know if many other people are using some of the things that you've created, like the helicopters and the? I don't think that many people are using it. To be honest, the numbers are pretty low compared to some more popular assets. So I think you know it's very like niche. You know, you have to have a certain type of city to be using a lot of it. Yeah. But um. True. That's not really why I'm making it. So, you know, mm. I, it's not really a number I'm paying very close attention to. Um, 
but it was cool that Biffa put those um, conveyor belt props as like the top 10 assets of the month or whatever, you know, that little video he does for, for yeah. City Skylines every every month, which was, I was I, very surprised because that was like the second asset I ever made and um, they're not very well made. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> you don't think so? I mean, they're, they're no, so... no, technically they're not. Like, if, objectively they're not. Like, uh, from like a technical point of view, like they look cool and they and they and they work well in the game, but um, the back end of it is not well put together. Okay. But I remember in the last episode, I mean, at least the last episode of the one that I watched, the one that is out currently. By the time yes. we actually finally release this, this is episode about six. three other episodes. Yeah. Um, but you really, you're struggling with the blimps and the helicopters. Now the blimps were good. The helicopters were not so good <laughs> in terms of like creating yeah. <laughs> things that land properly. And my God, that yeah. struggle seems so hard. I'm glad I caught those little clips of the helicopters, like flying through the ground and stuff. Like it was pretty funny to watch what they do when they're messing up. <laughs> it's fun showing that in episodes, I think. It's good. Yeah. Because it's, it's the sort of stuff glitches. that I, you know, I don't, I never record that sort of stuff. So it's really nice to see people doing things a bit differently. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. a, that's a cool thing. Um, when I hear and see that City Walk actually records, I mean, when you open City Skylines, you just press record button and that's it, right? And you stop uh, when you are finished or when you are done for the day, because when I record City Skylines, I am pressing the record button when I want to record something. I know sometimes I record extra stuff too, but um, most of the times when I'm, for instance, when I'm repeating my, my things, if I plop down, as you said, a decal, I'm recording myself, of course, but eventually I will pre press the pause button for a while because I know I'm going to do this forever. So uh, n practically, I think I'm pre-editing the video. Yeah. It'd be easier for me, even though your idea is pretty cool because uh, it happened to me so many times to have uh, some cool things happening in the city because you know uh, the artificial intelligence is so intelligent um, and I miss stuff because I didn't record it at, at that particular moment so it's a cool thing when you have extra footage there yeah so well the amount of times that I've had to like delete something and rebuild it because I wasn't recording I was just like learned like oh my god like I just need to record oh my every god you are thing. redoing it when you're not recording uh yeah I've done that a lot of times oh my god I'm just <laughs> saying I'm sorry guys <laughs> I can't uh, because I cannot redo it it happened to me just yesterday and I was like oh no I'm not going to show I will just show this in, in a blimp and I'll say hey this is how it looks like Sadly, I, lo I lost the footage because I was recording uh, as two dollars <laughs> the other screen. I don't know why my um, <laughs> my software is doing this. It's so annoying. But yeah, yeah, oh, Th that, that's a cool thing. Yeah, that is that is that is so painful. I I've only just started using autosave because before when I had autosave happening, it was um, crashing my game, so I just disabled it. Yeah, which yeah, meant yes. that a lot of the time I would. Um, I just, I just like, ah, oh, that's it for the day. Really happy with all the stuff that I've done. Close. Oh, dear God. Did I not say it? You know, just like that dread. Like, oh, I did this. And you can see the game shutting down. Like, no, 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 no. Like, please, I, like, please don't let this happen. I don't want this to happen. Yeah, you got to oh use the autosave. Oh, my God. Uh, it's, Ruins I'll a couple, like, cinematic shots, but what's worth it? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, I was no, doing no. some um, commentary. The other, I was, yeah, I was doing a live play and I was recording it. And um, it took me, I, I, I recorded like 20 of them. Like I just couldn't get it right. And it was like a long live play. I wanted it from the beginning to the end. And the autosave kicked in just when I thought I'd finished it. Like I thought it was all sweet. And it just glitched out. I lost my train of thought. Oh my it's God. Like autosave. Yeah, it's super annoying. But it's autosave. better to have it on, I think, in the long I run. I don't have it on as well. Oh because of the same the reason edge. as two dollars. No, it was a, uh, <laughs> at a point the autosave was breaking the game, was crashing the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I said, okay, I'm going to stop without the save. And since then I'm playing without it and I can't complain that much, to be honest. Uh, and I don't miss that those moments, which by the way, even if you do, a, if you just build there and record normally, yeah, the time lapse, uh, and you see the game at the point, you click on, click on something and you see the game shuttering or freezing for a second, you know, because it's auto saving. I'm like, please don't crash, please don't crash. And that feeling, I don't want to feel that feeling anymore. <laughs> I don't have, I don't need that, man. 
<laughs> yeah. Be... The other day I switched um, the hide it mod to get rid of that little icon in the top right corner. The uh, the like oh yeah yeah escape yeah. button icon and that's like yeah. where the auto save is so i yes. now it like auto saves without like showing the word auto save up uh, there yeah, and yeah, so yeah. it just like freezes up and i'm like oh it must be auto saving <laughs> but i freak yeah, out yeah. every time yeah, yeah. Saying, i got this is game over like i've, I've lost everything <laughs> i can't i can't i can't look at this game like losing all that hard work is just so brutal I yeah but really the thing about it. it is it's always better the second time even if you always. like always yeah so always. of course it is yeah yeah of course it is uh, maybe it's worth I it hate that. maybe you should I have to build it. everything twice oh jesus i mean how much time do we invest in this game are you talking about spending like four or five months just preparing for one series you know imagine if you had to do that twice oh my Dear god, god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah now hey man are we um I want to pick your brains about some things because yeah. I, I mean, the, the first time we chatted was through Discord because I was building something inspired by the Sultan Sea, and you were like, "Oh, hey man, <laughs> we I totally it. went to the Sultan Sea, and I, it's it's really it's really messed up. It's not great." Yeah, and you just gave really me this is. advice, and you showed me this like documentary or this um you know little clip, and it was just so so interesting. And yeah, can that, you just tell me a little bit about your experience at the Sultan Sea? I'm going to get uh, some <laughs> stuff up. Um, yeah, well, I remember seeing that documentary. It's like a really awesome, like, five-minute documentary. It's like a little short film, um, I think, before I went. And so I was, like, really excited to go and, like, see what it was all about. And we, like, get there and we're driving, like, kind of off-road because there's not very many roads there. And... Um, my car got stuck in the sand out like in the middle of nowhere and there's like all this really creepy graffiti and um <laughs> all the houses are like look like they were once on fire and then now they're like completely abandoned and have like you know stuff from the 1950s in there and like a bunch of like uh you know smoke uh stuff and hail uh people and things like that written on the walls um so it's like it's it's one of the absolute creepiest places in the entire world so where i went if you go to the top of the lake like that no no, no sorry to the right a little bit this really sandy uh area somewhere in there yeah yeah that little square i think yes 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 so this is where i was and this place is super creepy because obviously there's only one road in and everyone who lives there like knows that you're not from there obviously because um everyone there knows each other and you're only there because you're lost or you're just checking out how weird everyone is yeah exactly <laughs> so like they know that weird they know what they know what you're doing there and, and um then... at the same time even though it's the actual creepiest place in the world like if you go um to the street that's along the water that's the creepiest one i think um Skip, I don't know how much you know about this place, man, but it's just... This this place was thriving back in, what, the, the 50s? 60s? It was, um... Mm. It, was a real, it was a real boom. Like, they um, they basically created this sea. It's, it's man-made. And they... Yeah, it was, like, beautiful. It was, like, a paradise in the desert. And it's they like built Palm all Springs. these houses. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Palm Springs. And, you know, like, people were flocking here, like, you know, property was booming, there was hotels, there was, you know, tourism, and then, then just all this, all this shit. This doesn't even look as creepy as I remember. Like, this looks pretty tame. Like it's pretty I, low res. I remember, <laughs> like, it was literally, like, it looked like bombed out buildings with, like, insane, like, scary graffiti. And, like... Uh, maybe maybe you've been to another place like, <laughs> you, you lost yourself <laughs> yeah. um, but anyways i was stuck there for like nine hours no so, yeah it was not fun i couldn't go anywhere i was just waiting for a tow truck the whole day <clears throat> nine hours yep did anyone come out and help you um no people like gave us looks because we were like out a little bit from here like my car wasn't like actually in this area so this was... why how did your car get bogged in the first place well because there's a lot of roads that are like dirt roads like all throughout the deserts in california that are like 
very hard dirt and it's like totally fine to be driving on them in a normal car but then sometimes it just turns into like beach sand and you get stuck and there's nothing you can do about it like it's happened quite a few times and luckily i'm usually with someone who has like a tow thing or like it's pretty easy to get out you put like a piece of wood under the tire or something um oh my but God, i can't think time. of a worse place to get stuck yeah it was awful we um walked like a, an insanely far distance to some restaurant or something at some point got some food did you did you visit salvation mountain no i haven't been there but this place seems really interesting as well to me this is like mm. almost a tourist attraction i feel like this is less creepy this is more just weird Yes, yes. I want to do something like this in Marble Mountain, but I don't want to just do exactly... Well, you know the other thing that's um, really crazy out here? Um, what is it called? Hold on, let me pull it up on the map. Um, Have you seen this before, Skip? No, I've never. I was just reading what, what's, what's there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, it's so cool. Like, it's yeah. just, this, yeah, this, this guy is, uh, made it. It took him like 50 years or something. Mm. He's like really old now. Yeah, there's a whole bunch paint? of people who live out here. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just... Quartzite. Have you ever heard of this place, Quartzite? How do you spell it? Q-U-A-R-T-Z-S-I-T-E. It's kind of near here. Arizona? Um, I think it's California, but it might be Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. My God, I just want to get back to America. Like... So this place doesn't look that crazy on the surface, but the thing about it is it's the... Um, quartz and uh gem capital of america and so like every single store here sells like really crazy like quartzes and like crystals and things like that and um they have like a festival every year where like 200,000 people like in rvs come and like turn this into like a massive town like the like an area like if you look on google maps like twice as three times as big as the city like people okay. like out in like the desert like on in like their rvs for like this huge quartz crystal festival super Man. weird and have you been here before i have been here yeah i bought some fossilized sea turtle poop <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? oh my god my god yeah this is like so many rvs here yeah that's insane Oh, Can man, I ask so cool. why? Why have you? What? Wh why? Because I thought it was why? funny. Like yeah. everything else was like you know some like healing crystal or something like some like stupid thing, but this fossilized sea turtle poop was like that is pretty funny. Did um, and it was expensive? <laughs> no, no, everything there was super super cheap. Oh, okay. did you least... did you feel healed from? Uh, no, from owning them? I did not. That's a shame. <laughs> did not feel healed. I find yeah. California so interesting. I think because it changes so so vast, you know, you've got you've got pretty much every type of climate there. Yeah, well, I, as a I, from an outside perspective, it's pretty easy to tell that you like California. I think because <laughs> I built it twice. <laughs> yeah. So I need to stop building. It, to be honest. Um, no, next time you got it. Next time you'll be doing the Bay Area or something, Sacramento. Yes, yes. Well, you already know what my new series is about, so... Yes, I do. Yeah. That'll be exciting. But I'll show you some could, pictures after this. That'll be any. That could be anywhere, really. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. Um, I've been working on this new asset that I think is going to have some insane first-person uh, videos like that. Um, what? What do you mean? Well, I'll just say it. It's um, I'm working on a, a, a hyperloop train and network. So uh, yeah, you know, like um, where it's like a tube and it like, sh it's like a car inside of the tube and you can go like 600 miles an hour or whatever. Um, so what? <laughs> kind of I like, mean, kind of like the idea of the the tube, the the people tube in Futurama. Uh. Well, you should just Google Hyperloop. It's like a thing. All right, I'm doing it right now. This would be really dude, awesome you are you, you are really, really taking it to an old new level. Like the fact that you're there creating assets and doing YouTube videos, 
and tutorials on how to create assets. <laughs> it's so insane. Well, yeah, it's only because I have like no job right now because of coronavirus. So like, what else am I gonna do? Like, just be depressed yeah, sure. around my house, you know? Better do this. This is, this is gonna be the best use of time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the, the, the cool thing. If you ask me, this is a cool thing. Uh, I mean, when you started the series and I saw the first episode, uh, the second episode and so on, the cool thing is you are not stopping at that level, you know, every single time you add a brick and go one level higher, one level higher. Now you're talking about this and so on. That That's really, really great that you can f always find something extra extra to add there and to uh, bring your uh, soft imagination. By the way, I always wanted to ask you, are you taking also inspiration from the movies? Because there are two of them. Total Recall? Um, I actually hadn't, I, yeah, I mean, I hadn't seen Total Recall until kind of recently, but I, I also don't even really remember it, even though I saw it like six months ago. I, I, I to be <laughs> honest, I'm not really taking in much inspiration from ah, anything okay. other than that. I'm not very good at modeling or texturing. It takes me a lot longer than someone who's been doing it for a long time. Like I'm still, it's still like a new program for me. So I'm kind of just going for like as simple assets as possible like um those cable cars are basically like squares you know and uh and for the most part like i'm not trying to do like you know if you look at some of like ronix's assets like that blast furnace with like two hundred thousand tries like i could never in a million years make that like that would take me like a year to make that so um I forget what the question was, but that was, that's just, <laughs> <laughs> I, no, yeah, I'm, I'm not very good at it. Recall, like, I'm just yeah. like, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to make things, I, the, the style of it has just come out of um, trying to make something that's easy to make as opposed to like, well, if you don't, if you didn't something. take any type of, um, let's say inspiration from that, there was a, I mean, the first movie, Total Recall, at least the one that I remember, it was, it's very old, like with Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger. Arnold, yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, like, God knows how old that movie is. Yeah, it's like the 80s and or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And when I was watching your videos, your uh, episodes, and I was like, the, the upper uh, side and the lower side there, and on the lower side, people are very poor and so on. I did, I had like a flashback and I was like, hey, this sounds like in Total Recall, but again, the, the old uh, version of the movie. And it's so cool. So if you didn't take inspiration, that's even better and greater. But maybe you can uh, actually have, maybe you can find some cool stuff there too, like uh, ideas. I don't remember if they were actually using a, a dome or, and even I don't remember on what planet they were actually. Were they on Mars? I don't have you seen the, the I thought movie? they were on Earth. Yeah, I've seen it. I just don't really remember it. On Earth, you think? No, I think it was on another planet. Two dollars. Have that's... you seen the movie? Nah, I haven't seen it. It's a classic, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. What? I might have seen it as a kid, but I don't I don't remember it. Oh yeah, uh, the story of a construction worker who suddenly finds himself embroiled in espionage on Mars and unable ah, to determine if the experiences see? are real or yeah, the yeah, result yeah. of memory implants. Exactly, uh, I do remember. You got lucky there, the red man. I was, I was yeah. really worried there that you're just gonna start getting a whole bunch of hate <laughs> in the comments. Like, oh my god, it was on Earth the whole time. <laughs> no, you're right. It is on Mars, yeah. Cool. Mm. That's cool. That's actually. Yeah, cool. I should watch it again because I I think I watched it like in the background, like maybe while I was playing City Skylines, and I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And, uh, sorry, man. Oh, you no go, worries. You go. go. I, I was about just to say that uh, the 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 newer one, uh, which is like few years old only. I forgot what was the uh, actor. Um, anyways, that one is totally different, and uh, it's a more futuristic one. Compared to the original, let's say, Total Recall. Yeah. Hey, um, I want to know what, like, you must get so many science guys in the comments, just like super into sci-fi, super into like the details of what you're doing. Are you oh getting like a big sci-fi audience? Um, yeah, definitely. I would say like there's a lot of people who subscribe to the channel who don't play City Skylines at all no and way. are only into it for the science stuff. Um, which is very interesting because That's like, amazing. I, yeah, I, I don't know if I would be watching videos of a random game that I don't play, you know, for some 
something that I was interested in that had nothing to do with the game, but um, it's pretty cool. And um, I do get some pretty like uh, nitpicky comments, which, um, I, you know, sometimes it is really useful, like people being like, you know, like the dirt on Mars, like has too much chlorine. <laughs> and so like, you can't actually like weeds don't grow in the dirt there. So there wouldn't be any like plants, you know, on the ground anywhere, oh um, which like, okay. Yeah. I, I, you know, I guess that's an informed thing. I could stop doing that, you know, and uh, maybe that's interesting, but it's just, I don't know if I pay attention. I don't really pay attention to a lot of them, but sometimes it is like, Oh, okay. Like, you know, I guess it, it's a very easy fix for me. I can just stop doing the thing that is not, correct you know so uh i can't imagine I, like two years ago three years ago i did a video where i built an airport and i asked the question oh i i'm i don't know what these planes <laughs> are every day i get a comment i wake up and someone's telling me what planes they are and i'm like that question has been answered a thousand times no one else needs to tell me what planes they are and there's still just like a whole chat going going on in that just telling me what planes they are I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't care. I don't care what planes they are. I've been told a thousand times and I, I mean, still don't know. I really think that the airplane, uh, people who are into airplanes and aviation are even more nitpicky than the, than the people who are really into science. Cause science, like, you know, with Mars, it's the future. Like you can kind of be a little bit, you know, stretching your imagination, but airplanes, yeah. like there's a rule, you know, like this is how it is. Yeah. So but, like, but for someone who doesn't actually know I mean, that's why I stay away from airports, like super stay mm. staying away from that. Uh, I, I, people, I mean, people, okay, I understand some of them. Hey, hey this is how we do it. This is uh, how it's real or this is how things work. But they have to take in, into consideration a few things like, hey, first of all, it's a game. We don't have all the tools, necessary tools or all the assets properly or anything. You can do stuff like in real life. And third of all, let's be honest, we are we can't know everything and I I'm not going ever I'm not going to spend like days and days and days to to read stuff about an airport or so on to make it look um, so or to make it work properly because I'm sure I will actually miss something and someone will be hey look you forgot about this or someone saying stupid things for I instance know. that's how pe people are the ones that uh, about that uh, thing that you are saying uh, two dollars with people saying the plane over and over again. I was like a uh, long, 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 long time ago when I was posting on Reddit a few years ago. <laughs> Someone asked me about a bridge. I posted a, a nice picture with the bridge and everyone was, uh, someone asked me, hey, what bridge is that? Can you uh, link the assets? And I wasn't at home, actually. I don't remember wh where I was. And I do remember I, I was a nice guy and I still am a nice guy always answering. And I would say, hey, sorry, I'm not at home. Uh, I will give you the link as soon as I get home. And from, from that very moment, everyone was posting a comment. Hey, are you safe? Are you at home now? Everyone was doing the same thing. Hey, hope uh, the OP is uh, at home. Is it, is it he uh, safe or is it healthy? Uh, I wonder what is going on with him. And everyone was like, what the hell? I was, what's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> what have I done? And I, it was like hundreds of comments the same way. I was like, okay, yeah. People do. That's why uh, I stay away from Reddit. Do, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, yes, I am now staying very away, if I can say that. Um, hey, speaking of YouTube, how long have you been... I don't think you've been posting for very long, like your um, Kobayashi Island series. Um, Is it a year old now? Or no, yes? I, started, I started posting that, I think, in like August or September. And then I think like a month later, I deleted them all and re-uploaded them because... Um, I had only I only had like 90 subscribers at that point, and uh, I like all the cinematics I took. I would like thinking that the city would be like at all at night, and like it didn't really look very good. So all the cinematics I had originally recorded in the earlier episodes were all at night, and so I just re-recorded a lot of the stuff and made it a day, and like fixed up some of the the audio levels because you couldn't hear me talking, and uh, made them slightly <laughs> better. <laughs> even though uh, <laughs> can we see one? Yeah, no, I, I, can we can we please make a segment? I feel like we're talking about segments on our channel, Skip, like on this yeah. podcast. And I was like, I don't know if you do segments, but I think we should do a segment where we have to watch the first episode of every guest that we have. Uh, yeah. 
Agree. <laughs> sounds so <laughs> awful. I've, I've found I've found how to make custom parking structures in City Skylines. Oh uh, yeah, that's a perfect What's that one. one? Like? Is it? That one. That one's great. Yeah. I mean, you, my ah. voice is terrible, <laughs> but it's a nice little technique. It's a cheating. That's what. That's a great one. No, no, it does no, sound that's like cheating, cheating doesn't man. it? <laughs> yeah. What about this one? The pre series. Oh, uh, that one's awful. Oh, well, that's okay. Cool. Click on the <laughs> awful one then. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh no. Oh my God, 20, 20k views, man. Well, yeah, because it's the first one in the Kobayashi playlist, so people uh, click on this one a lot. Yes. Uh, okay. This is this is the reason that I decided to make um, just the episode one put so much more episode uh, em uh, effort into episode one of Mars is because of uh, how many people watch this really terrible episode one of Kobayashi Island. Yes, you do have to be really careful of that. Yeah. Yeah, it does get embarrassing. Beautiful music. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, so I recorded this on my iPhone. My iPhone was just sitting on my desk, and that's how I recorded the audio. Ah. It was with the, the record memos feature on the iPhone. <laughs> that's so a, the that's pretty cool. That's the audio that's is really cool. terrible sounding. And also, I was just like rambling, like I wasn't like, <laughs> there's no like edits to the audio, like, I, or maybe there is some edits to the audio where I just took out like little bits of dead space, but I was really just like, uh, like, okay, where well, this is uh, episode one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, man. We've all been there. <laughs> Um, 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 um. Uh, dude, I sound like that now. But this is like, it's so slick. I mean, no, oh no, making fun of you, but like, it's still so slick. You know, like, you, I love that. I mean, this is still so similar to what you do now by showing, like, ah, oh, you know, put all these buildings into this collection, and this is how you go about making a map and choosing a map. And that is kind of what you do now. A little bit, yeah. This first episode is different than the rest of Kobayashi Island, where. The only reason I made it is because um, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna show how I'm setting up my mods and stuff, and uh, and how I'm setting up the map and the theme and, and, and that kind of thing. That's cool. That's that, that would be so helpful to people. Yeah. And then everyone starts finding your old videos, and you're like, uh, please stop, stop, please stop finding my old videos. Yeah, please. Yeah, please, please cut that out. <laughs> uh, it's so cool, man. I mean, like. I, I can't believe you haven't even been up learning for a year and I feel like you've already made such a huge dent in, you know, the City Skylines community. It's so, like, exciting to see, like, new people kind of coming in and doing something different as well. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, because, I mean, like, after what? Is it five years? Has this the thing been out for five years? Yeah, five years. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. A lot of, it's, yeah. You think you've you think you've seen it all, and then well, I got I else. started real late in City Skylines. I feel like you guys got the game when it came out, right? Basically, yeah. I kinda, didn't, kinda. I didn't hear about the game until probably like three years ago. Two, so when the game was already two or three years old, I feel like. Um, and so I, I feel, I it, it a lot of the mods were already out when I started playing, which I feel like has been a huge help, as opposed to trying to like learn, you know pick up you know if this new mod comes out okay now i gotta try this new mod like for me it was just like get all the mods at once this is just how the game runs you know this is so um i feel like that was that was kind of helpful at least starting the game off or starting playing the game a little bit after everything was developed and whatnot so you never knew a, a city skylines without move it well i did um move it was actually the one mod that i was that I was like looking through the workshop and I remember it had like that old icon with the little guy from Madagascar or whatever. Mm. And it had like, oh, yeah. this, and I was like, move it. Like, I hate that song. Like, I don't want anything to do with this mod. And so like, I got all the other mods except for move it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I never even tried that one. And then I, uh, I was still basically playing vanilla city skylines because of that. And, um, and I like got bored of the game after like a month or two and then came back to it like six months later and then I got move it. And then I was like, oh, like this is how you're supposed to play City Skylines. <laughs> and then, since then it's like the only game I've played. You're loving Transport Fever, aren't you? 
Yes, I, I mean, that game gives you an extra thing that City Skylines will not give, doesn't give, or maybe will not give ever. Uh, but I kind of got rid of it. I mean, I, I'm like, mm, not gonna play it. I, I, I feel like I reached almost everything in that game. So my series now is like on pause or even that kind of... It's like of logistics that you're saying. Th yes, that that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that no, seems the, fun. It, it I mean, the cool. industry's DLC is sort of like that, but... Yeah, really. you, you mm. can't compare it. And, and the fact that the CDs actually evolve by themselves because you do these um, logistics, that's a cool thing as well. You mm. don't have to plop that buildings one by one. You don't have to uh, try to... Uh, how do you say it? How do you do it in the vanilla? Uh, the zone. Zoning. zoning, sorry, I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Two dollars knows all about it. Well, yeah, man, back to the zoning. Yeah, you, so you don't have to steal zone or, or do anything. They are growing. So you have to spend time on the logistics, but also you can uh, subscribe to extra things because there, the community, there is a little community there uh, that creates assets and all kind of things, mods, and uh, also for Transport Fever. They did it for Transport Fever 1 more, uh, now for Transport Fever 2. Maybe the the amount of uh, assets is a bit lower, and the sadly, the ones from Transport Fever 1 cannot be automatically imported for Transport Fever Yeah, see, that's what I'm so worried about City Skylines yeah. too. That's why I hate mm -hmm. it anytime someone brings that up, is because like there's so much stuff that you would lose if they made a second one. Yeah, yes. probably, over. probably, probably. Ugh, it's my, my nightmare. Mm. Hey was... man, it must be getting late for you right now. So, um, and I'm looking at the time. We've been recording for pretty much, well, over an hour. Yeah, dude, thank you so much for joining us for uh, for the very first episode of uh, City Slickers. Well, thanks for having me, guys. This is, like I said at the beginning, like... This is this is a podcast for City Skylines is a dream come true for me. It's like so many times I want to be like absorbing City Skylines content on YouTube and I can't be watching the screen and so I'm just listening to commentary and having no idea what's going on. So this is uh, perfect for me. This is like the uh, absolute perfect thing. So I'm really honored that you guys asked me to be on this first one. It's really 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 cool. Oh man, I can't think of anyone better. Like this is fan like it's great. I really wanted to talk to you and ask those questions there's still things i want to ask i might have to just get you on a stream or an episode or something like that we'll just have to stay in touch yeah um, happy to do so yeah skip any last words um yep uh was really cool this uh, first um, guest uh, podcast was really cool uh glad you had we had you uh on the first one thanks man um yeah well, the next the next one uh, would be on my channel, right? The next podcast would be on my channel, uh, and the next uh, probably the next one, the third one, right, should be already available on your Patreon. Uh, $2, Absolutely, right? yeah. If you want to get the any of the podcasts early, yeah, then you can head over to our Patreon accounts and um, definitely get them there. But guys, thank you all so much for watching. Very much appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next podcast. Goodbye. Bye.